welcome to Bridesmaids Fit Podcast. I'm your host, Jennifer DiDonato, and this is episode number 24. In case you've been living under a rock for the past few months, that's okay. Bridesmaids Fit is a Metro Detroit's only in-home personal training service for brides-to-be, and the Bridesmaids Fit Podcast is everyone's source for health and fitness information and entertainment. So, thanks for joining us. And I want to say congratulations that you're watching this episode because this is the very first episode that Bridesmaids Fit, uh, that the business is an award-winning business. So ourselves in the back no I'm just joking but yes we are an award-winning business and thanks to startupnation.com right here they uh, went on a search or they kind of had a contest where they wanted uh, homegrown businesses to enter and there were thousands of entries and they were doing contests in 10 different categories of anywhere from um, the most innovative businesses to the greenest businesses to the wackiest to the most revenue generating businesses and so they had uh, 10 finalists in each category and bridesmaid fit came in the top 10 in the most innovative businesses we are number eight actually so check it out at startupnation.com thank you for all of you that voted out there we're very very happy so now on to our workout. Well, of course, tomorrow you're going to probably be stuffing your faces if you're living in the United States because it is Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving, a lot of people, that's kind of the startup to the holiday season uh, for the binging. And if you're doing well and you're on track right now, please, please don't go overboard on Thanksgiving. But if you do, you may. I'm going to make you work, I'm going to make you pay for it, because a lot of times we binge on uh, the holidays, and then we think, oh, I'm just going to work my butt off after, you know, you know, the five glasses of wine and the two pieces of pumpkin pie and half a turkey, I'll just work it off and it'll be great. But you know what, a lot of people, they don't, they get tired, they want to go shopping on Black Friday, they want to get the free DVD player, whatever you want to get. No, I want you working out. So to make sure that you guys are working out and not binging and ruining everything you've been doing up to this point, I'm going to make you work out first thing in the morning on Thanksgiving morning. You heard me. And that's why this episode, and it's, um, it can pertain to all holidays, is called the Holiday Pre-Binge Workout. And I want you to exercise in the morning because exercise in the morning ensures that you're burning those calories, which will be a fraction of what you're going to be eating throughout the day. And since you work so hard in the morning, it's going to not make you want to binge as much during the day because you know how much your workout just sucked. But it felt good afterwards, but it sucked. I mean, come on, face it. Who wants to be trekking down the treadmill? But you're going to do a good thing, and you're going to burn off those calories before you even eat them. So let's get started. I'm going to have you work on the treadmill. I'm just going to pick up my dumbbells right over here. I want you to grab two dumbbells, one for each hand, and I want them to be a weight that is challenging enough. You're going to be doing 15 repetitions of the first two movements that I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna pick up my dumbbells right now. And what you can do is if you have a really cool treadmill, unlike myself, you can actually stick the dumbbells in the cup holders. The Life Fitness brand has those and it's really awesome. But mine is a little pro form fold up one. So I'm just gonna stick my dumbbells down here. All right, we're gonna kick, kick on the treadmill. Turned it on great this time, didn't I? Remember that one episode where I <laughs> went to go turn it on and it didn't turn on, it was kind of funny. So I just want you warming up for one minute okay just like you should get the blood flowing okay now after one minute of warm-up I want you to bump up your incline to four percent and that could be um, the number on there treadmills are kind of different so if it has an incline mode on there I just want you to bump it up till you see the number four and that's good and I want you at three and a half miles an hour 3.5 so we got 3.5 miles an hour four percent incline okay so I want you to walk at this for one minute all right, so we got one minute on the treadmill. Now here's the fun part. Hop off the treadmill, grab your dumbbells. Be careful on this part, okay? But since you're working out with me, you're a pro already, all right? I want you to grab them. Overhead presses. I want your arms to be at 90 degrees. Press all the way up and exhale. Bring it down back to 90 degrees. Control. So you're walking while you are doing the overhead presses. And I want you to give me 15 repetitions of these. You can start at a slow speed if you feel like you're not very comfortable on this. 3.5, I'm pretty short. I'm like four foot ten. You guys, you can't really tell on camera, but I am. So 3.5 should be a good speed for most of you out there. But if it's too fast, please, by all means, please bump it down a notch. Okay? Good job on those 15 repetition overhead presses. I want you to walk for one minute. All right, let's pretend I walk for a minute, okay? After you walk for one minute, we're going to do 15 hammer bicep curls, alternating. 
I want you to keep the elbows in tight. I want you to bring your arms, the hands, all the way down to the side of your thighs. Bring it back up to the just above the shoulder. Remember what I said? You don't want the, the dumbbell to go all the way to your shoulder and see how I'm lifting my elbow here. Then it's not working my bicep. You want to keep the bicep activated the whole time. Okay, now I'm going to have you hop off the treadmill. We're going to come back down here. Keep the treadmill running. I want you to give me 10 reverse lunges while holding the dumbbells, 10 per leg. Bring it back. Good. And push off that front heel. Bring your leg back as far as you can. Keep the back heel up. Front heel down. Push through that heel. I want you to keep your back straight. Chest up, chin up, look forward. Be confident. You're working out them glutes. Now we're going to hop back on the treadmill. Let's pretend to 10. <laughs> Go ahead and set dumbbells down. Okay. We're going to bring the incline down. And this is the fun part. You're going to walk for about a minute just to cool down from the lunges. Now we're going to kick it up a notch. And I want you to run. Not so much running at a sprint, but I want it to be fast enough. So you're going to be running for five minutes, and I want you to challenge yourself. Really push it, OK? Now, I can't run that fast right now because my microphone may fall off, and I might lose you guys, so I can't do that. Okay, so I want you to run. Come on. Burn off them turkey thunder thighs. <laughs> OK, run for five minutes, you guys. I want you to really pump it, pump it really push it. All right, go ahead and bring it back down to three and a half miles per hour. Go ahead and bring the incline back up to four. You're going to walk it out for one minute, and you are going to repeat this, um, this portion three times, okay? Whew. So this gets the heart rate up. This works your muscles, your lower body, your upper body, shoulders, biceps. You're hitting the core, too, because you have to hold the dumbbells while you're walking on that incline and also with the reverse lunges. So do this workout. Email me after Thanksgiving. Tell me how it went, how it felt. Did you eat more? Did you eat less? I want to know. So definitely email me on that. I want you to work, OK? All right, now moving on, I just want to give a shout out to Elena Events, to Joanne and Beth. We met up with them uh, during the week, and they were a lot of fun. Thank you so much for meeting us at the Drift Inn. It was a pleasure. So I just want to say hi to you guys. And now you can catch all of the Bridesmaid Fit episodes. Google us. Online, Brides May Fit, you will find us everywhere. And you can catch previous episodes, just like the one that you see right here. And also, uh, bridesmayfit.com, that's where we're at. And um, also, follow me up on Twitter. It is uh, twitter.com slash Jenny DiDonato. And we're also on all the other links on the side of our blog. So check it out. Go on our website and take a look at all the links we're on. We're on every single one. We want to hear from you. We're all over the place. We want to want to meet you. And I just want to thank everybody so much because um, without the fans, I mean, I've been getting so many emails and uh, people are really, you know, people who are maybe brides, may not be brides, men, women, teenagers. I'm really excited because all these episodes are here to help you guys and it benefits everybody. So if there's ever any type of topic that you want to see that is health and fitness related on Bridesmaid Fit, please email me and I'll be more than happy to feature it because have you seen in the past, I've been featuring a lot of, of my fans. Um, yeah, yeah, it doesn't even have to be health and fitness. Hey, if you want to uh, talk about juggling or something, I can't juggle, but maybe I'll bring in someone who can and show you, teach you, you know, so. And same with recipes. Um, yeah, you know what? Send me a recipe. Send me a good Thanksgiving recipe. It could be your grandma's, whatever, because I need some more ideas um, maybe for next year. So I want to see what are some really cool recipes you have in your family, all right? So thanks so much for joining us for another episode of Bridesmaid Fit. Get the move and get the step in. I want you to have a great Thanksgiving, great holiday season, and I will see you next week. Right. I am going to eat turkey. I'm going to probably have like about three slices because I just love it. I want some cranberries on top of it. And I want my potatoes right next to them. My mashed potatoes right next to them. Put a dab of uh, the gravy on it because I don't like too much cheese. And then I like to um, cut up the turkey with the cranberries on it. I like to dip it in my potatoes and eat them. Oh my gosh, my mouth is watering right now. I'm just uh, talking about it. <laughs>